Hello viewers, Zenos118, and yes, it's been a while, hasn't it? Um, I think I have some explaining to do right now, because it's been, how long has it been? I've kind of lost track. Two weeks at least, I believe, since the video was uploaded. Even longer since the video was recorded. Um, you see, uh, a couple of weeks ago, the pleb spill, we can actually see here. Uh, he came over from Sweden to stay with me for a week and so I got absolutely no time to do recording uh, during that time, even though three videos did go up that week. I pre-recorded them the week before. Um, and then I discovered that all of the World of Tanks replays that I had were completely useless because um, you know the 100 years of tanks update yeah, that turned out to be a bigger update, as far as replays were concerned, at least, than I initially thought. Usually I do copy the uh, the patches so that I can still watch the replays that I have by playing them in other clients, but that didn't work. Um, in fact, this patch is now called 0.9.15.2 instead of 0.1.2. Um, and so I had to wait until now when I uh, just have enough um, Ace Tank replays to do a special which is what you're going to see here well I do have a lot more I did get a lot of Ace Tank replays recently in the KV100 yeah, it's quite insulting to call it the KV85 really um, I did have to fork one of those out to complete the six um, and then after I found out that all the replays had to be deleted, I caught a cold. Just, you wouldn't believe my luck, would you? Um, and so my voice suddenly became quite shit for doing recording. And um, I'm only just getting over it now. I mean, you may, at times during this video, hear some uh, remnants of the coal. I can't do anything about that, obviously. But clearly, it is time to get back into doing video recording. And what better way to get back into it than to do a World of Tanks special? That's the longest intro I've ever done, about three minutes. But anyway, let's let's go and start with the pleb himself, Spill, driving the AMX 40. That is the uh, tier four French light tank. That isn't really a light tank call it a slow medium or sort of plays a bit like a heavy just a small heavy because it's not a very big tank the gun is not supposed to be very good on this vehicle I do hope that the uh, game volume isn't too loud because I've changed the uh, I've um, what have I done oh yes when actually playing the game, I can hear myself playing it now. The general volume level used to be on 5%. It's now on 30, or something like that. And um, I've lowered the volume of the uh, the speakers in the, the recording program to compensate. And I think I did do a test, so I think, I think it's alright. Please do tell me if it isn't. He's in a platoon with me. You can quite clearly see I'm up ahead in the Hetzer. That's here for um, German tank destroyer. This thing has an advertised top speed of 50 kilometers per hour, which is complete bullshit. Um, you're lucky to get over 30, really, on the flat. Never seen anything go. I've never seen this ever go about, you know, 35, 40 on the straight, on the flat. And we're on El Halouf. It's taken us two minutes to get here. Better be some things to shoot at. There is a Panzer B2 there. And we bounced. 
We haven't bounced that one though, we're firing high explosive only tank because the gun is so shit. It's pen. That was poor aiming. You see, this is why I don't like heat. It's so damn unpredictable. You can see him as aiming for the side of the turret, and he got he got there that time. That one did not go through. That one did. Didn't need high explosive any tank for that, but got it loaded anyway. I'm in quite a bit of trouble down there, as you can quite clearly see. And so Spill thinks there's nothing better to do than to run away, regroup with the rest of the Allies. As I get murdered by a T-67. With help from all his teammates. Why are you holding the right mouse button? G28 couldn't see him. Be damn lucky to hit anything at this range with it. Uh, with this gun. It's low velocity, isn't it? T67 and he's dead. Churchill Mark 3 in the middle. Oh, he's been spotted. There's a T28 there. He was the one who spotted him. That actually managed to go through the tracks. Quite surprising for high explosive any tank, really. Tilt's asking for help, quite rightly so. He's got a Churchill Mark III chasing him down. Now you see, this gun is not very good. Oh. He's dead. That Matilda Black Prince and the Sherman Mark III have actually managed to hold the, uh, the western flank. job to them. You're not going to get a shot at him from here, Pleb. Fairly sure. Although, if he does it like that, then he can get shot at. And his second shell arrived too late to kill him. Because the KV-1 takes the shot earlier. And this does have a low velocity gun, of course. There's the 50 kilometers per hour. Top speed. Once you've been going downhill, you can reach it. And as soon as you reach the uphill, it's down to, what, 10? 7? Clearly, with some vehicles, you just have to pay absolutely no attention to the advertised top speed and instead make it up yourself. This is probably going to be quite an expensive game firing. Virtually nothing but high explosive anti tank. I guess we'll see. The mate's just been taken out by the KV-1. That's good. It's been spotted. Oh, T-34. Yep. Beautiful. 
He was actually firing high explosive there, I think, was he? No, that was artillery taking the shot, okay. M7 Priest, the only one left. It's been spotted. He's being chewed up by the church, no, not the church, Sherman Mark III. There we go, he's got him. Good. Now then. Ace tanker, bruiser, and fire for effect. 953 damage done, 2 kills, 767 base experience, not a lot at all for an ace. But you know, the MX-40 is not is exactly uh, easy to get a good game in that, and lots of damage done. Minus 21,907 credits with the premium account, yeah, well, virtually nothing but high space of any tank fired, kind of expected that, didn't we? And so nothing spectacular, but he just had to send it in, didn't he? <laughs> Why does he play this vehicle, of all things, so much? Yes, the armor's good. That's the only thing that's good about it. The gun is terrible, the mobility is terrible. Even though it doesn't say it's terrible, the mobility actually is terrible once you take everything else into account. Oh dear. Well, let's move on. Um, I think there's a replay from myself coming up now. Right. Me next. The KV-100. Do not call it the KV-85, please, because it gets offended if you do that. I've done it so many times. Now then, Muravanka, tier 8 game, tier 6 heavy tank. Hmm, what do we do? We go mid. Why? Because mid is OP. Seriously, it is. It's been proved many times in many vehicles on many maps by myself and the pleb. Elements tested, pleb approved. <laughs> yeah, that's right. There's plenty of buildings for cover, at least. I was originally going to go over to the uh, to that area over there, but uh, there are some light tanks that are spotted. Hopefully, I can get a shot at something. Well, perhaps in the enemy uh, KV tank over there. No, no. No, okay. And I was spotted by the uh, drive-by of the ELC. So let's not get shot by the BERT. Can that guy see me? No, he can't. Good. And there's the BERT, but we can't see him. You see, I was thinking about going that way, but, you know, there's three allies over there. So at the very least they can actually spot some targets for me to shoot at at long range. This isn't the most accurate of guns of course, it's a, uh, a Soviet gun. Can we see that guy? We can see a slither I think. Clearly we did. Not enough to kill him though. Even though we did get a high roll. Uh, I hope that T29 doesn't proxy spot me. I think he's just too far away. Super Pershing FCM. Mm, no. Okay. Well, the 1375 is moving up. Might be able to spot things. Oh, and he spotted the Burt. You see, this is where the limitation of the KV100 gets you. Three degrees of gun depression only. Now I have been spotted shooting at this Challenger. First shell missed, second shot did not. And the Burt looked like he was going to come over. Takes the shot anyway and misses. Now I'm worried about that Challenger. Although I've just received another ally, Cheeto has appeared. Still can't shoot the FCM over there. So let's see here. What do we have? A 
I want to know where that challenger is. Especially as the bird keeps spotting me, little pesky bugger. Now then. Tito moves forward, so I decide to do the same thing. Can't shoot any of those, so let's shoot the scorpion instead, shall we? No, I didn't do 368 damage in that shell. Someone else shot him at the same time. That's good, he's dead. Now I've got the side of the Yagtar 8.8. Lovely. Come on, a high roll perhaps? It's as good as a high roll. <laughs> That'll certainly do. Can't shoot the Borsig, but we can shoot the arse of the T29. And he's dead. We cannot shoot the Borsig, but the challenger has appeared. Notice straight away, he does not have a very good gun. Yep, he's dead. Good. It's just the Borsig left on this flank now. Oh, and he's dead. Good stuff. Well played, team. Okay, FCM and Super Persian, both of which we saw earlier at long range, are the only vehicles left alive on the enemy team. There's the FCM, he's been spotted. Can I get a shot at him? I can. Bounce, though. Bit unfortunate. Didn't get spotted by the, uh, the Super Persian. Lovely free shot into his side. Again, did not get spotted. Plenty of concealment between me and him. So he is not going to see me very easily at all. There is a building in the way. Although, oh, oh. No, we can only really see his gun and his frontal armour. I can see the side now, though. Yeah, he's dead. Just the FCM left. Take a blind shot. Looks like it went in. And he's dead. Good stuff. I always salute towards the end. Unless I've had a totally shit battle. Or team damage or something. Then I don't salute. Okay, ace tank, a bruiser, demolition expert, fire effect, and confederate. And we can see uh, that the blind shot in the FCM did go in, I think. Uh, yeah, it did go in. 3,199 damage done, which is second in the game. One kill, 1,273 base experience earned. Uh, once again, you don't really need that much base experience to get an ace in the KV. 100. Well, it depends. It depends what layout you've got on it. Um, if you've still got the 85 mm gun, then yes, it's the KV-85. If you've got the 100 mm gun, it's the KV-100. If you've got the 122 mm gun, number one, you're doing it wrong, and number two, it is the KV-122. Um, I've had aces on a thousand base XP, and. I just think, are people really playing that badly in this vehicle? It's, it's got such good DPM with the 100mm gun. 36,227 um, credits profit with the premium account. 638 assistance damage as well. That is just a taster of the plethora of ace tanker games I've had in the uh, KV-100 in the last... Um, what, three days or so? Um, I suppose four days. Yeah, four days. I've played it a lot because of the T44 100 marathon. This has done the majority of the USSR mission. Um, I've still got. I've done all the kills, uh, which is a perk of driving a, a sort of mid tier vehicle. They tend to get all the the kills done before they get all the damage done because you play high tiers, you get all the damage done. Uh, and then you get the, uh, the with left with kills to do. 
Now I've handed over the rest of the USSR damaged part of the mission to the Object 263 and uh, that is uh, progressing well with that. Um, right, I think we have to move back to the Pled now. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know. Although I do believe he has an interesting vehicle to show us. Now, the spill... I've already said that wrong. The pleb... Um, quite clearly, on the first day, bought the T44-100 from the premium shop. Ah, can't stop him, can you, from buying premiums? Um, so, we now have the pleasure of watching an ace in the newest vehicle in the game, the T44-100. Premium tier 8 Soviet medium tank. Not that I need to really mention that, because it's all the hype right now. And we're in a tier 8 battle on Malinovka. He's on his own, I believe, yep. Yeah. No platoon. So, let's see how this vehicle plays out. Looks good. But that, I mean, the, the looks, you know. Not because of looking at stats. You see, he's, uh, every premium, according to him, deserves uh, permanent camo. So he's already gone and done that, and he's got uh, Swedish flags on his turret. Good stuff. I do like the Swedish flag, more so than the uh, British flag, really. British flag is just too complex. You know, and where's Wales? <laughs> Not that I particularly have a problem, but... I understand it's quite uh, difficult to put a dragon on in the middle of that flag. Especially as it's a red dragon, so it'll just blend in with the rest of the flag anyway. Top of the hill. Oh, Oni has been spotted. Only an Oni. That's what I say sometimes. Comet. Dodgy shot, that. Don't flip, that's bad. For your health. Kind of waiting for the comet to get spotted again. But now. The heavy tanks appeared on the hill from both teams. There's two KV2s down there and a no knee. for a KV-2, but I think he turned his turret, which meant it missed. Yeah, bounced off the gun mantlet. You see that KV-2 has already been punished inside of the turret, and it's just got punished even more. And he's dead. It's a dodgy shot, that. Well, I can understand why you don't want to get hit by a KV-2. Cause all kind of... All kinds of critical hits. Sorry about that. Yes. That's the problem with the Japanese Super Heavies. 
Their armour is sloped in ways that makes them flat whenever you turn the turret or the hull or something. Especially at high tiers, that's very noticeable. Yag Panther. Takes a blind shot. Looks like that one went through as well. That that gun on the Yag Panther looks so out of place. It's now dead. Clearly. Well, won the hill decisively. Now then, let's CDC. Oh, AMX 13 F3. Lovely little snack for spill there. Here we go. Now he's keeping the high explosive loaded, and you're shooting at the side of a CDC. What can possibly go wrong? Can go into his tracks, can't it, pleb? That's why you don't fire high explosive at tanks. Artillery, yes, because it's very likely to pin. But ordinary tanks? Unless you can be sure of where you're aiming, don't. Because it can bite you in the arse. This TVP is getting worked over now. Can we get the kill? No, because we bounced the killing shot. Of course we do. That's how it works, isn't it? You can pen every other shot, but you can't pen the killing shot. Comet. Yep. Good hit. No. <laughs> That's never going to work, is it? He's gone. There should be artillery down here somewhere. Well, probably. Where is he? There he is. That was a uh, pointless shot, but anyway. Oh, he's dead. Died so quickly, he didn't manage to get another shell off. That's a WZ111. That was a bullshit shot, that was. Lovely. You bounce the heat. <laughs> you can't ang angle you know a glacis enough. Really. I bounce the heat again. <laughs> oh dear. Now see that's Borsig. Yes, fire high explosive at a Borsig. A oh, cheeky salute at the end. Good job. Okay. Well, Ace Tanker, Spotter, Bruiser, Fire for Effect, and Confederate. 3,770 damage done, 2 kills, 1,367 base experience, 112,163 credits profit with the premium account. It's a lot. 780 damage blocked by armor, 1,447 assistance damage. Brilliant stuff. Nice to see a T44-100 doing what a C44-100 can do. Good. Well, that's half the replays done now. I think I have to go back to me again for a vehicle that is, in a way, similar to the KV-100. The IS. Um, that is the Tech Tree IS. Not the IS-2 Berlin, which is what Spill is driving in the platoon. He's over there. We're on Fisherman's Bay in a Tier 7 match. So we're going to think, we're going to go town, and we're going to play aggressively in town. Does that sound good? It did to us. Let's see if it works. 
of course you know the answer to that. I wouldn't be showing the replay otherwise. And this croaky voice is starting to come back again. That's not good. I don't want to talk too much now. <laughs> because of the voice. But I must soldier on. Can't simply give up now. That would be unsportsmanlike conduct, wouldn't it? Don't stop, just go full ham in town. Go to town in town, that's the expression. Enemy IS. We both get low rolls on each other, actually. And then Spill puts a shot in. Meanwhile, I spot myself a bishop. Kill a holy man whenever you see one. Panzer 4H, no. She's behind cover. KV2, though. Can't actually see him. T25-2. Nope. There's a Cromwell behind us, but I'm going to keep an eye on the tanks in front of us for now. KV-2 there. <laughs> IS missed. And in fact, let's let's get this guy. Yeah, you can take out my driver, but you're not going to kill me. There we go. Nicely done. And then KV-2's there again. Yep, and take the track off. Brilliant. Now then, does he have repair skills or repair kit or anything? I don't think he does. Oh, missed the uh, T-25-2. The KV-2 was still there, so I probably should have shot him instead. Come on, T-25-2. That's good enough. KV-85 is coming across. I'll call that one a KV-85 because I can't be sure what gun he's using. It sounded like he used the 122. Which if he did, big mistake. In goes Cromwell. Oh yes, he's using the 122. Oh dear. I put a shot in after the Cromwell deals with him a bit and then Spill finishes him off. Half the team dealt with now. The enemy team. Although nearly our, half of our team has already has also been dealt with. T forty three missed. Spill, do you have a shot? Probably not from there. Might get another shot off. I do get another shot off. Miss that one as well. And Spill also donks the shell. For God's sake. <coughs> Cromwell gets him. I do apologise. But I will not stop just because of this. Crusader SP. No, can't see him. We've lost the other side of the map. A couple of friendly tanks have retreated from it. Spills chasing down this OR experimental and is getting shot at by something else because the OR experimental is AFK. So, of course, I bounce him. That's better. Spill takes the kill. Oh, Dicker Max. I did hit, and Spill hits him 
basically the same time and he gets the kill Hellcat take a guess shot but didn't go in clearly would have killed him otherwise down to two armor piercing that's how you know you've had a good game in the IS when you get down to your APCR and your high explosive come on where are these enemy tanks there's the KV-1 went into the tracks hopefully he'll stay in a position where I can shoot him and he did lovely now we're down to APCR and high explosive and that's when the VK-2801 pops out of nowhere and kills Spill removing us of brothers in arms and if I were to get the last two kills then we would have got crucial contribution but the Cromwell manages to get the Hellcat however I should still be able to salvage the kill on the 2801 but I've got to find him first well of course in an IS it's not easy to find a light tank there he is not today sunshine not today alright ace tanker bruiser fighter fire effect and high caliber and a croaky old voice <coughs> I'll try to sort this out before I do the next clip 3,792 damage done, 5 kills, 1,276 base experience, 36,409 credits profit with the premium account. And before I say any more, let's move on to the next replay <laughs> after I have dealt with this really annoying um, throat. Right, hopefully this is a bit better now. Some phlegm did want to come out. And I managed to get some of it out, but I feel like that's not all of it, so it might come back again. <laughs> Predictable. It's now time to watch Stiggy. He's driving uh, his newest Tier 10 vehicle, the Object 268, Tier 10 Soviet Tank Destroyer. And we're actually on the Encounter version of um, Malinovka, which I've not seen in a while. Of course, I have Encounter and Assault turned off, because I don't really like them from my experience it made the same maps pop up time and time again and uh, I didn't like that especially as one of them was Karelia he's come up to the bushes here so that's a good sniper position he's got binos although he's never going to spot any of these vehicles T for 7 heavy yes lovely it's a trap! Indeed it is. There's a W120 on hill. We can't see him anymore. Now T69 was doing a good job of spotting them, but now he's dead. So clearly he's not spotting anymore. Oh, Panther 2. Ho 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 ho. Dual action. Borsigd and then 268 did. And he got a massive high roll on him as well. That Panther 2 is uh, perhaps a bit lucky to be alive. Oh, these high rolls for days. The lowest roll he's had on a 750 alpha damage gun so far is 792. You're having some luck here, Stiggy. Quite a lot of luck. Far too much luck. CDC. Takes a guess shot. I guess we won't know whether that hits until the end when we see the battle of results screen. Oh, 
All right. The CDC has popped up again, but he's outside of render range, so he's never going to shoot him. Jaeger is also outside of render range, but Type 57 heavy. Type 57 heavy. T57 heavy. Oh, I only got 8 above uh, average that time. Disappointed. Oh, Gorilla 15 and 704. What are we going to go for? 704. Wait, what? That looked like it went straight towards the target and it didn't hit, apparently. Hmm, that's odd. There we go. Oh, massive low roll. Here we go. Compensation. Come on. You're going to have to shoot him. There we go. There's the CDC. <laughs> he missed. <laughs> okay. Time to move up. Oh, he's been spotted. What by, though? That was just a Borsig. Wasn't the Aegaru. Sounded like a high caliber gun. Okay, oh, there's the Ferdinand. There we go. And I think he's going to get all of the rest of his health and assistance damage. Which is nice. Now then. Jaegeru. Borsig. Ow. Commander had to be uh, brought back to life. <laughs> I thought he was actually going to take the shot at the ice tree, but then he changed his mind at the last minute and went for the GW Tiger instead. <laughs> Classic. Okay. Now then, we can perhaps spot the ice tree again. Yes, there he is. Getting high rolls on a 750 alpha damage gun at tier 8 is just an insult to injury, isn't it? It's dirty. This thing apparently only has 0.01 worse accuracy than the Object 263. And to be honest, by playing the 263 a lot recently, I have kind of noticed that the uh, batch out drowned. That the 263's gun at long range isn't actually that accurate. Although the shells do have high velocity, which I like. Sadly, couldn't get all the damage on that GW100 done, but picks up a sneaky kill towards the end. Brilliant stuff. Ace Tanker, Spotter, Bruiser, Fighter Effect, Confederate, and High Caliber. 7,402 damage done, 3 kills, 1,036 base experience. I'm really surprised about the, the base experience that you need to get aces in some vehicles. I mean, there's that. I mean, I got a, the, my first ace in the Griddle 15 recently when I was doing the German part of the T44 100 marathon, and I only needed about 1,000 base experience. Certainly less than 1,100. 39,886 credits profit with the premium account and 2,096 assistance damage. So basically about 9,500 damage responsible for there. Very well done to you, Stiggy. However, at least as far as the battle of results screens go, he's not the star of today's show. No. That instead lies with another player. Let's see him now. 
Sexy is the star of the show today. The, that actually sounds like something that someone would say on stage. Now the star of the show, Sexy himself. <laughs> uh, that's not really that funny. Um, he's driving the 50B, the AMX 50B. Tier 10 French heavy tank on fjords, and he's in the platoon. With two clue... Uh, two <laughs> With two clan mates, I, I nearly said clown mates. Um, mixture between clan and platoon, of course. They are clan mates. Uh, there's Aptox in the Object 140. We've seen Aptox before. It features a very, very good replay of his that uh, was sent by. Sexy or kitten, can't remember which one now. And there's uh, Lantiani. In the TVP T5051, however, however you pronounce it, I don't know. It kind of sounds uh, Italian to me, or French, Lantian. Don't know. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, oh, oh! Oh dear, Borsig! Oh dear! <laughs> <laughs> you got a bit wrecked, didn't you? <laughs> oh, it's amazing what you can do. You you give a tank an automatic gun, you you feel overpowered immediately. <laughs> the TVP, I've played the TVP, I've played this. Yeah, you can feel overpowered quite often in those vehicles. And this thing. Unlike the 5100 at tier 8, does not take very long to reload. Partly because this only has a 4 shell automatic gun instead of a 6 shell. And this platoon, on its own, has managed to deal with everything on this side of the map. TVP gets the kill. No, out of shells, okay. Aptux gets the kill. Now then. I think they're going to decide to go back to defend instead of attack. Hmm. Probably a good idea. Since there'll be nothing in the enemy base apart from artillery. You see, this is the another really good thing about the 50 beasts very fast and manoeuvrable. In fact, it's faster than any medium tank in the game. Top speed wise. Well, as far... Th there, there are, I think, two mediums that are as fast as this, but there's no medium that is faster than the 50B and the 5120. Of course, they have better power to weight, so they have better acceleration. But this and the 5120 have just the same top speed as the... Um, uh, the Batchat 25T and the Leopard 1. Scorpion G popped up there and uh, died doing so. So, you know. Didn't end well for him, did it? Gorilla 15. Yes. Now then, T34. There we go, and reload. He pressed the reload button instantly after taking that shot. That was, um... Fast acting there. Now then... Missed it, but uh, Aptox died somewhere along the line. There's an E50M in mid now. Hmm, you can see Sexy's not really sure what to do here. But then the E50M pops up. And so does the IS-3, although... Hmm... Hmm... The 
Yeah, M103 has popped up in full health now. I guess we've got to help this Yath Panther 2 defend the base. Would be the logical thing. And now the C30 has also appeared. Hmm. Didn't manage to get any good shots at those guys. Probably could have waited a bit longer until he wasn't spotted anymore. Hmm. Luckily, Lantian has appeared and is also punishing the M103. Sexy's taken out the Ice 3, now he has to reload, but the T30 misses. We've got two automatic gun loading vehicles reloading, but once they're both reloaded they can cause absolute havoc. That's where the 50M appears, and he's going for a ram on <laughs> Lantian, but doesn't manage to get it because sexy reverse ram kills the 50M. T30 misses again. He's dead. M103 bounced. It's just artillery, and the Lorraine has just appeared. And he misses, and he's dead. Okay. Whew. That was quite um, intense. Although the enemy team <laughs> made an absolute mess of it towards the end there. With the T-30 missing twice, the M-03 bouncing, and artillery missing, and E-50M failing at the ramp. <laughs> They could have done so much more, they could have killed Lantian quite easily. And well, if the T-30 had done its job, they could have killed Sexy as well, and then it would have been uh, just Artie left on the team. Now, T-92 has managed to shotgun friendly batch at 15555. Friendly Batchat 15558 now moving in. For the kill on the T92. I think he's going to get it because I don't think the T92 is reloaded yet. Good job. Just the M53 and 55 left. There he is. <laughs> Cheeky fire. Not needed at all. Would have been reloaded very soon afterwards. Brilliant game. This. This voice is coming back again, for God's sake. Why is it doing that? Ace Tanker, Bruiser, Arsonist, Duelist, Fire for Effect, Radley, Walters, Medal for 8 kills, High Caliber and Top Gun. 4,577 damage done, 8 kills, 1,214 base experience, 44,241 credits profit. With the premium account, 1,190 damage blocked by armor and 727 assistance damage. And that is all I have to show you in this um, World of Tanks special. Of course, thanks to myself and uh, Spill, Sticky and Sexy for all those replays. Um, all of them very fun to watch. Well, the Amex 41 wasn't really, that was just to fill a gap. But, you know, a pleb sent it to me. Why not show it? Okay, well, before my voice cocks up completely now, I'm going to end this video here without saying any more. Which means there's nothing left for me to say, but uh, thank you for watching, viewers. Um, hope you enjoyed watching. And as always, good luck on that battlefield or with whatever games you're playing. And I'll see you next time.